today of your association with Brooks Co. Not only are they one of your sponsors, but you work closely with them and, and other dairies around there as uh, how their operation uh, affects waterways too. I never said their name in that connection. Well, you didn't, but you said, <laughs> but, but that you work with other dairies to to ensure I that work with dairies that yes. are that are trying to make sure that they're doing the right thing for waterways too. Right, and um, <clears throat> the, the thing about the uh, water quality testing program is we try to detect not only when the rivers are clean and when they're dirty, but where it's coming from. Right. And, uh, you know, for example, currently we're investigating upstream from Valdosta, something gets into the rivers in big rains. We have determined it's mostly coming down Cat Creek. Hmm. Now, where on um, Cat Creek? There's a couple of likely sources, <clears throat> have to tread lightly here. I got you. One of them being Moody Air Force Base. Okay, um, and that's problematical because we've found a little more from upstream on Beatty Branch from the wastewater treatment plant from Moody than downstream, mm -hmm. which is very puzzling. There's nothing upstream but the base. What's going on? We don't know. We're trying to find out. Okay. And upstream also is uh, Ray Cities. This is actually on Cat Creek. Ray mm -hmm. Cities wastewater plant, which is uh, you know, treatment ponds. So far, that does not seem to be the source, which surprises me. Yeah. But upstream then on um, <clears throat> Beaver Dam Creek, we find that there's contamination. We got an idea what that might be. We got, we got to do a lot more testing. We we're trying to get some grants for this because, you know, it costs uh, like $10 each time we do an E. coli test. And when we do the other range of tests, it costs more. So, you know, we, we can't be doing... 12 locations every week, yeah. which is what it takes just for this creek investigation. But we're going to pin this down. We're also going to do some DNA tests. That's how we distinguish, for example, cattle or wild hogs yeah, okay. or human. Back in, uh, it's when we, we got the Florida Department of Environmental Protection to do DNA tests back in uh, 2020 after the big Valdosta spill in 2019. And for the first three weeks after that, it was human. Hmm. Then it was ruminants. Now, ruminants include giraffes. Wild Adventures has two giraffes, but I don't think that's enough. That's interesting. Wow. Uh, you guys are, are tireless in, in your efforts to keep our waterways clean, not just because uh, people want to experience the waterways and paddle and different things like that, but it's for our own health and things like that down the line. Oh yeah, I mean, who wants to drink or swim or, or eat fish, fish. Yeah. or even paddle in dirty water? Yeah. And there have been occasions where we've said, I, I recommend you don't even get that river water on you. Yeah. 